hello everyone welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video i take this opportunity to thank you so much for the love and the support i just crossed 300 subscribers and i'm so happy i thank you so much keep the love coming keep the support coming i'd like to take this opportunity to plead with you that if you've not subscribed please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel don't forget to click on the bell so that anytime i upload you get it first so in this lesson we're going to learn how to create a web banner in fact a fashion web banner design in photoshop so let's get into the video so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new project and the size that we're going to use is 1200 by 370 and at this time around i'll keep my resolution at 600 so when you're done just click on ok now the first thing that we do is to add a solid color so you can choose any color that you want but actually I want a very plain one somewhere around this place so when I'm done I'll just click OK alright so I'll go ahead and pick my pen tool in fact this part is very technical so please take your time in doing it and since this is a tutorial i might not get all things right but it, i promise you if you take your time to do this you're going to get something very extraordinary so you pick your pen to make sure that you have this place set to shape and then you start from this place somewhere around here so this is called the initial point so you make a point and then you make another point here and then as you make this point you know remove your your hand from the mouse please so you just do like this and then you create something simple so we are creating something like a curved shape here so you can drag as many times as you want or as long as you want so I want it around this place so you will create some shape for me here don't worry just hold alt and left click here so it would clear off the anchor that extends to your side and then you click back here so it will create a shape for you press ctrl alt c and then it will, it will take you back and then press back again make sure that you have this um, indication over there and then you click there again so you can come around and click a place like this and then click around this place and just like we did at first you click and then you hold so it will give you some shape very nice like this one okay so at this point you can get back to your initial point and then you place you join the shape together so you have a very nice shape like this and then I would like to change the color I'm using the color FD 2d and then sexy so I'll click OK and then you can press ctrl T command T if you are using a Mac to adjust this particular shape that we've created you can move it around you can do anything that you want with it okay so the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to make a duplicate of it now we press ctrl j on the keyboard and it will make a duplicate of this one so we go ahead and select a second shape that is the one beneath the copied shape so you double click on it and then you can change the color so i like to change the color to something like fc 6b then 97 all right so that is the light one of this particular color you click ok and then you press ctrl t to transform it so you are transforming this one to get something very nice like this and then you're going to ahead to make a duplicate of this one and then you select the third shape that we have right now so you press t ctrl t sorry and then you can duplicate or we can transform I'm very excited that I crossed 300 subs so don't mind me okay so you just transform it like this so you take your time to do the transformation and you get something very nice so we have something very nice here and then the next thing that we are going to do is select the color fill and then go ahead and select your eclipse here so you can draw any eclipse around this place and then I have my eclipse ready now the, with the eclipse selected go to file and go to place 
so we are going to place the image that we will be using and this image i'll download it from google i'll add a download link so that you can use it if you want to so i'll just double click on this one to accept it and then i will right click on it and rasterize the layer i'll right click again and create a clip masking so that its particular color um, image will be in the eclipse straight forward so i'll just push it to the side and have something nice like this so with that said and done i think this picture looks a little bit me so i'm going to add some hue and saturation to it so i'll press ctrl u on my keyboard and then i'm going to increase the saturation a little bit depending on the image that you'll be using you might have to make some changes to what we have over here so you click ok when you are done now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the name to whatever that we are creating over here so let me go ahead and choose my test tool over here now with the test tool i'm going to select a font called a vertical interact i'll include that in the description box and i'll increase the size small and then i'll change the alignment to right so I'll let's click and then change the color to this particular color so you just left click on this to sample it out and then you click ok so i'm typing fashion and beauty so i have my fashion and beauty and then ctrl t will help me to transform this particular thing so i can transform it and place it very nicely over here you can choose to do whatever you like with this test so i'll go ahead and edit it and press enter to add another thing to it mind you i'm going to press ctrl a and then i'll increase the alignment from here so that i can have something very nice here so i'll type web banner design so but i don't like this font here so i'll select all of this change the color first to black and then i'll go ahead and change the font to a font called daniela and i'll include that in the description don't worry so after all is said and done just go ahead and select your rectangle to make a nice rectangle under this one so you can change the color to this color and i think this is too big so i'll zoom in and then i'll just transform it out and i'll have something like this so i think this is okay for me all right so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to insert an eclipse again we want to insert another picture so we will select the eclipse hold shift and then we'll drag and create a nice eclipse so we have the eclipse here and right on top of that place your image again so i'll place this model over here and then i'll double click to accept her into the family so i'll right click and then rasterize the layer right click again and create a clip masking so ctrl t again will help me to transform my beautiful model over here so i'll press ctrl u to add a few saturation to her all right so now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to select my rectangle to draw a rectangle over here and then the color i would like to go back to my favorite color here and then click ok now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some text to it so i'll select the text and just let's click on any part change the color to white and the fonts i'll maintain daniela so i'll just go ahead and write maybe instagram you want to, you want to add your social media to it so instagram and then um twitter and then maybe youtube or something like that so you will know what you want to add so this time around i won't be using the logos um that is for a personal reason 
you can ask in the comment sections and i'll explain to you if you want to so i'll place them in the uh, the rectangle that i created and i think this looks very nice so the final thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some text over here what do you do at your fashion and beauty or what do you do at your center so i have what i do over here and i'm going to select it press ctrl c to copy and then i'll choose my test tool this time around i'm not just going to click and add a test but i'll left click and then i'll just drag it like this the eclipse of the model and then right click and add some stroke to it so I have a stroke and then I'll change the color to this particular color and increase the size more so you can choose to maintain yours like it is and then you click OK when you are done and then you have your web banner ready so that is how to create a web banner for fashion and beauty you can apply it to any of your works that you are doing i hope this video was helpful and if it was i hope you give it a like and you subscribe to my channel for more videos thanks so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video bye